Automatic machines hidden behind scenes affect all our lives. No one is more involved, without realizing it, perhaps, than the modern housewife. Today, nearly everything she buys is prepackaged. Everyday items like Parmesan cheese, biscuits, wieners, cake mixes, butter, TV dinners, and lobster tails. A pretty wrapper is essential, but quality and correct weights are even more important. A pound package must weigh a full pound. Keeping a close watch on quality, doing it quickly, and protecting the housewife against short weights concerns every supplier. With the steady eye of government watching for underweight items, it becomes very easy to over an expensive practice. So the packager turns to automatic weight control systems, right where the action is, to give him a firm grip on his profits. How is it accomplished? Let's examine a few modern methods used by Toledo Scale. suppliers insist on controls at the manufacturing point and checks at the packaging point. The third major checkpoint, Checkpoint Charlie, is after the package has been filled. Parmesan cheese, for example, an expensive delicacy, enjoyed the world over for its enriching flavor. It is packaged in modern factories like this, as handsome as a public library. But it's what's inside that counts. And this packager uses Checkpoint Charlie to protect against costly giveaway grated cheese. A six spout filling machine, gravimetrically controlled, fills three ounce cans and sends them quickly over a conveyor to the check weigher. 130 cans per minute are weighed within a tolerance of plus one sixteenth ounce minus zero screw spacer with increasing pitch, synchronized with the check weigher and the takeaway conveyor, delivers cans evenly and quickly. Over and under weight cans are diverted to a table by the automatic reject paddle. OKs go straight through for immediate sealing. Conveyor belts are tough, impregnated fabric, meeting food handling standards. Check weighers in the food handling industry must be capable of being washed down. Rejected cans are hand trimmed to the precise weight stamped on the can label. Giveaways can't be tolerated because of high cost of cheese, and underweights are unthinkable. Key reset counters log all overs, unders, and okays. Later, the production counts are recorded, and if necessary, the filling machine is adjusted. This food, too, is carefully watched. Wieners, Franks or hot dogs, enjoyed in every American home. Once offered to the King and Queen of England as a treat. Meat is pressed into casings, cooked, and the casings stripped off. Wieners are cut apart and automatically packed in one and two pound packages. They are classified into four zones. OK and OK heavy zones are held to an accuracy of 1 28th of an ounce. Overs and unders are diverted for bulk sales. Two pound packages travel at 40 per minute, one pound at 80. Major changes have occurred in baking a cake. Now, long hours in a hot kitchen are eliminated by carefully prepared cake mixes. A Canadian firm packaging a well-known brand delights the modern housekeeper with simplicity. The vendor is doubly concerned with accurate weight because the housewife will add water to complete the recipe. Too little or too much material could ruin the cake. Packages under a half pound at one per second are weighed with normal accuracy. Overs and unders are diverted for reprocessing. OK bags are boxed and placed in cases. Check weighing has saved the processor many cases in an eight-hour shift, resulting in a money savings of up to 
Toledo check weighers are often used for extra fine sorting, where a variation of weights must be combined in a carton. Lobster tails, a costly treat, are automatically sorted into nine weight zones. Each weight signals the proper diverter paddle. Various weight tails are placed into nine ounce retail cartons and weighed again at Checkpoint Charlie. 60 per minute to an accuracy of 1 28th of an ounce. Overs and unders are diverted for weight adjustment and the housewife is assured of a full measure. Biscuits make the meal and biscuit packaging has changed from when women packed them by hand, when production rates were low and the work was hard. Modern plants with large markets turned to automatic machinery that quickly multiplied production. A continuous sheet of fresh dough is compressed to proper thickness by three sheeters. Thickness determines weight. Each minute, 2,400 biscuits are dropped into cans. Ten to a can. Biscuit dough varies in density and therefore in weight. Random sampling formerly established a weight trend subject to human error. Manually adjusting the last sheeter was a matter of guesswork. Many underweights had to be reprocessed while vast numbers of overweights went undetected. But now, Checkpoint Charlie, after the filling machine, makes the difference in profits and eliminates all guesswork. Eight ounce cans are checked for weight, four every second, 240 each minute, to an accuracy of 1 20th of an ounce. Underweights are diverted to a table. Checkpoint Charlie always finds the can with the biscuit missing, avoiding an embarrassment. Over one million cans per week are processed on this line for distribution to homes all over America. Where products like biscuit dough vary in weight, Toledo's trend-sensing feedback control, the electronic logic, closes the loop for complete automatic control over packaging. It receives impulses from the check weigher and stores the over and underweight signals in its memory for a preset number of counts. As it senses the weight trend or shift, the information is integrated. Then a signal is sent to the servo motor which automatically adjusts the sheeter and dough thickness. Over and under counts are independently adjustable. After the adjustment, all information is wiped clean and counts begin anew. Time lag for the corrected thickness of the dough to reach the check wear is taken into consideration. Automation with trend sensing feedback control practically eliminates giveaway material. An average of one gram, one twenty-eighth of an ounce, saved on each can, a simple accomplishment, saves the packager $150,000 per year. Money is saved in packaging the butter that goes on the biscuits, too. The density of raw butter can vary, causing underweight cartons and unhappy homemakers. This packager finds profits and peace of mind with trend-sensing feedback control in his filling line. The machine volumetrically cuts one-quarter pound prints, which are individually wrapped, then packed into one-pound retail cartons familiar on the East Coast. A beltless conveyor permits OK and OK heavy cartons to be held to a zone width of one quarter of an ounce within an accuracy of one eighty-fourth of an ounce. Thirty-five cartons per minute are handled. A dial setting selects length of weight trend up to eight successive over or underweights before a feedback signal is generated. 
The signal then drives the servo, which automatically adjusts the volume of butter in the one quarter pound print. Without feedback control, the machine was erratic. Now, over and under fills are eliminated. Food products are not all that are handled by Checkpoint Charlie. Industrial uses are limited only by the imagination. In this case, the foreign housewife gets help in washing her laundry. Rubber stock with core in place is continuously weighed at speeds ranging from 8 to 30 feet per minute. Stock diameters vary from 1 and 3 quarters to 3 and a half inches. When a different run is made, the appropriate counterbalance is simply hung in place. OK light, OK and OK heavy zones are adjustable from 8 grams to 20 grams, within an accuracy of plus or minus 2 grams. Over and under weights are identified with paint. After a cooling spray, the stock is cut to length. Sprayed parts are removed for reprocessing. Wall thicknesses are critical since the stock will revolve against a mating piece and must be axially concentric. Once a familiar American sight, the ringer still enjoys vast popularity in foreign markets. Mice play an important role in the health of the American family with the help of Checkpoint Charlie. In biochemical labs, for research on cancer and other diseases, the National Bureau of Health classifies mice into three weight zones at 20 per minute, records the count until an alarm sounds. Over one million white mice are shipped to biochemical laboratories around the country each year. Check weighers can help improve the quality of the car we drive. Many metal forming techniques use steel billets with carefully held dimensions. Cut to length, they are automatically checked for weight at 20 per minute, within an accuracy of 1 28th of an ounce. An automotive manufacturer uses this Toledo system for selecting proper pieces that are later cold forged into gears. OK weights are ready for processing. Overs can be trimmed and rechecked. Unders are scrapped. Precision is essential. Too little metal causes a faulty gear. Too much could break the die. Today's check weigher, whether an individual unit or part of a complex system, is an extremely accurate instrument for achieving efficient production. It performs three basic functions. It indicates, it records, and it controls. It must be easily operated and quickly adjusted. Changeover from one package weight to another must be simple. With the desired test package on the conveyor and the belt running, the OK zone is set with a slight twist of the wrist. Perfection in setting the OK zone center is indicated by the pointer. Conveyor speed is adjustable. Speed, weight, and accuracy are integral functions. Check weighers are generally part of a fast-moving production line. To avert costly downtime, built-in reliability with solid-state circuitry is a must. Toledo check weighers are highly accurate because they use circuitry that is not sensitive to line voltage fluctuations. A dime's worth of product quickly multiplies into profits when giveaways are shaved to a minimum. And the dime may well be yours. 250 Toledo scale sales and service offices in the United States and Canada and more in major overseas locations means there's an office near you with well over a half century of experience in the science of weighing ready to serve industry anywhere on the face of the earth.